is one of the most recognizable names in comedy. Pauly Shore has been making America laugh since he was 17. Mm. Been a guest on the morning show, gosh, numerous times before. And now he's back, my buddy, Pauly Shore. Hey, wow, man. Wow, thank you so oh, much for having me. It's always good to be here. I, I apologize for kissing your hand over there. I didn't mean to. But thank you for right, having so, me. So two years ago, I get called up to the boss's office after you were here. Oh, wow. Yeah, you kind of got back at the couch, kind of right. jumped and sat in my lap and planted right. one. Right. Oh, okay. I'm secure, man. It's okay. Right. It's, it's okay. Good. Where's she going? Why are you distress? What? That's it. They just, dude, the babes just turned her, turned their back towards us. Is that disrespectful? Disrespectful, right in our How place. This is, this is Mitzi's little boy. How could you yeah, do that wee, to him? Wee. So it's know, nice and warm here in beautiful Florida. I'm I just came from Washington D.C. where I was having coffee in the in this shop. They, I don't know if they, you so know, they saw the, yeah, yeah, I was the, having the thing there, and um, I come here. It's more colder. More, more. Is that is that good English? Yeah. It's colder. More cold. it's, it's freezing colder. out. It's yeah. Cold. You, know, you you have become mm. a little more introspective mm. in your comedy over the past couple of years. What's yeah. behind that? Whoa, we have another beautiful babe coming here. Hello, hi, sweetie. You want to say hi, Polly? Nice to see you. Sorry. Nice, beautiful, very nice, beautiful, nicely. Um, so I don't know. I just I think when you get older, you kind of like. You don't do this as much. You're kind of like doing more of this stuff. You know, it's just kind of like more. Where you don't do what? This as much. You, you do, do more of this as much. Do you know what I'm saying? Is that yoga? No, it's more of like you just kind of more laid back and, oh, fl oh, and oh, flowy. Oh, oh, oh. You're talking about my stand up. Yeah. Yeah. I am talking about your stand up. Yeah. But, but actually, no, you have two documentaries. Yeah. You have the one that came out in 2014, which yeah. was kind of prompted by, uh, you know, the situation with your mom. Yeah. Mitzi Shore. Yeah. And then you're working on one now that's really about your life. Yeah. Is it going to be it's what people really think? It's really cool. It's really cool. I, I love the documentary form. I don't know. You guys have Netflix, HBO Go. Mm -hmm. There's so many documentaries out there. There's so many different styles. I saw the Amy Winehouse documentary a long time ago. It was about a year ago. I don't know if you saw that. Mm -hmm. it's, did you see it? I did. It's great. It's like stylistically, I really liked it. So that's the style that I chose for the documentary in my life. So. I, you know, I grew up around comedy. I, you know, I went to Beverly Hills High School, Playboy Mansion, MTV. Um, I had a lot of interesting stories that, you know, growing up on the Sunset Strip that I think people would be interested in. So, um, so stylistically, what I'm doing is I'm using all old footage and old videos from that era, and I'm getting everyone to do voiceovers. So we're kind of we're kind of like, you know, doing a voiceover through the whole thing. So I got people like Jeffrey Katzenberg, who's the head of DreamWorks, who I did all my movies with. He did a whole thing for me. And, uh, you know, Doug Herzog, who's the head of Viacom, he did a whole thing for me. And so it's, it's really dope. I'm really stoked about it. Awesome. So, yeah. And people also don't know about you. You are a, a consummate news junkie. Yes. And a couple of years ago, yeah. uh, during the last presidential election cycle, yeah. you actually did a whole thing about yeah. the candidates. Anything about this particular campaign? We're getting so philosophical with Pauly. Well, that that's because happens. I'm on the left side. See? See, I'm, I'm, I'm are you Democrat progr are you right progressive? here. I'm, I'm Democrat right here. If I was over there, it'd be a little bit more wild. I understand. Where would you yeah. be if you were Bernie Sanders? I would be on the floor. Oh, okay. In the floor. So, anything, anything <laughs> about this presidential ca campaign that um, really stood to you? I know people might, you know, it, the thing is, like, whenever you, you give your opinion about people, you know, have people, oh, God, what do you think about, yeah, da, da. I personally think Hillary Clinton's going to win. I think, just like I said, I think, well, I think the Panthers are going to win the Super Bowl, and I think Hillary Clinton's going to win the election. Well, I'm you, not saying that I want her to. You would have liked the Broncos to win, so who would you yeah. like to see in the White House? Um, I'd say Hillary. Yeah. Yeah, just because of the fact that she's been in the game for longer than anyone. So from an experience. Yeah, though. I think that's you know I mean a lot of people are like you always see like hear people say like oh I don't I don't feel connected to her and she's kind of distant and not you know but you, you, sometimes you don't need that for to be the president you want someone who's got the best kind of resume. Gotcha, Paulie. Right, always a pleasure, say. man. You can catch Paulie tonight and tomorrow night at the Comedy Zone. He has shows at 7.30 and 9.45. Tickets on the Comedy Zone website. Nick, back to you.